this tour, we visit Boca Raton, Florida to step inside this extraordinary intercoastal property. Listed by David Roberts with Royal Palm Properties, this home features six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and just over 9,600 square feet of living space. We begin this tour in the elegant foyer. Hey everyone, welcome inside this ultra chic residence. As soon as you walk in, you're going to notice up above this Terzani chandelier that's just absolutely jaw dropping. It truly is and it's pretty cool that you have like the jewel in the middle parts and then you have the lights at the very tip. Wow, I didn't actually even notice that right away. Like that is so unique and if you actually look, each one of those fixtures are actually separate. Now you might be wondering, why do we got the blue booties on? <laughs> and it's because this is De Chateau premium oak hardwood, and that's like top of the line. So they made sure that our shoes were covered up here. Probably because you didn't have premium shoes on to begin with. I didn't have the premium shoes, so I had to go with the booties. But moving along over here, you guys, is the elegant dining room. If you look above at that light fixture, it's actually quite similar to the one we've seen in the foyer. Yeah, but this one does have a busier design, which is kind of cool too. That certainly is nice. And speaking of attention to detail and design, I mean, check out this table here. It's actually quite large to fit all the family and friends around. Now that we're finished up in this area, let's head over here and check out the formal living space. Now this living room is an absolute dream. Behind me, look at that monolith marble fireplace. I mean, beautiful white stone. You also gotta love the illuminated lights on each side. And I'm pretty sure the corners are upholstered as well. Ooh, it is. I love that they went with like the gray silver upholstery. It matches nice with the white, and I mean, the black fireplace just like pops off. What also pops off is the staging. Right, I mean, I wish you guys were here to see like just how big this is. Like, there's so much room here. Imagine just like chilling out, looking out into your backyard where the pool is and everything, the palm trees, but okay, we got focus on the inside. So around this corner, is where there's this elegant champagne room. I mean, they went with the gold and the tinted glass showcasing your favorite bottles. But I got a question for you. Do you know how to get into this thing? Uh, <laughs> honestly, no, but it's probably through something over here, which we'll get to in a little bit. But for now, we have yet again another living space. Now, this is on the other side of that wall, that fireplace we've seen. This one's more of that fun, chill vibe where you're maybe watching the TV, maybe playing some games. But we got to talk about these coffee tables. Those are pretty unique. They're like separate pieces, hey? Yeah, it actually is like six totally separate pieces, which is great. But these chairs, I mean, you were talking about the attention to detail with the interior design. I mean, this is something else. Tyler, you gotta get up and stop using these chairs. Man, I just, <laughs> this house makes me wanna just like lounge and like hang out all day, right? But now we gotta continue on over here, you guys, where there's the minimalist and sleek kitchen. Okay, now this is a super clean kitchen. Right in the center here is this lengthy European white marble island that actually waterfalls over. I do notice it on that backsplash as well. Would well, you notice it on the countertops? Yeah, they got it all throughout here. And right in the middle is the Wolf stovetop. Super clean because I mean, I feel like a house like this, you're gonna be entertaining. So they went with a really minimalist look in this kitchen. That wood grain too. Oh, the wood grain, you also notice the aluminum lights there. But up above, look at all the gold flutes up there. I also noticed it down below too. Oh, I didn't even see that down below. Don't you like though how they, you know, they went with like that clean, white, bright look with the marble, as well as the European cabinetry. But they also then did some pops with the gold and the wood. Over on this side is the bright breakfast nook that has views of that backyard and of course the water out there. And also just to my left is a powder room that leads out to the summer kitchen. Over on this side of the kitchen is where you have all your wolf appliances and on both sides you got a fridge and freezer. As we head through this door, we enter into the butler's kitchen. Now I'm glad they have this because you've seen how sleek and clean that kitchen is there. You don't want to dirty it up too much. And that's why they have this. You can meal prep, do all your cooking here. You also have the Wolf appliances and tons of cabinet space. Now that we're done with the kitchen, let's keep exploring this main level. Down the hall and to the left is where there's a laundry room. And then through that door is access to the first two garages. And over here, you have entrance to the dining area. Is that a closet? Yes, here we have a closet for extra. This is not a closet for extra storage. This is the champagne room. There we go. We found the entrance. And I think I read somewhere 200 bottles you can fit in here. That's a lot of bottles, but I'm just wondering how do you get those bottles? Because they face the outside. Ooh, do you know what? You gotta be very steady because you don't wanna like, A, hit the other bottles. You also don't wanna hit that glass. 
it's kind of like that game operation, you know, with the doctor, you gotta like go in, you know what I mean? But if I was steady enough, I would love to grab a couple of those bottles and head over to the club room. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so now just imagine, you got some family and friends over, you have a couple bottles in your hand, you head past the foyer in that main living area, and you enter into this club room. I know there's a lot of nightlife happening out here in Florida, but with a club room like this, the party's gonna be coming to you. And you're gonna need a lot of seating. Which, of course, this has. What's great is that over here, you have a nice little lounge space. Maybe sit back, have a cocktail, a cigar. There's also actually a little workstation there, too. Good spot to gossip. You know what it is? You're gonna be gossiping over there about all the people <laughs> that are lounging over here. Now, this space, I mean, I hope you guys can see just how like long this couch is. You can fit a lot of people on there. And behind it is a black and gold island, which is great because you'd be standing up having a drink watching the games on the TV. Speaking of drinks. Oh, the wet bar. A place like this is just not gonna be missing out on a wet bar. They have like the matte black finishes with the dishwasher and the sink to make sure everything's nice and clean. And across from that, matching the countertops is this circular table, which is perfect for some poker, playing some cards. And I mean, you got those views of the backyard oasis, but we're gonna get to that later. Heading around the corner, we're now gonna go to this side of the main level. First off to my right is a resort style powder room. It has a white marble countertop. And continuing on this way is the bright secondary bedroom. It has a full ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. Now to my left is access to the second garage. Now that we're done with this main level, let's head upstairs and check out all the bedrooms. At the top of the stairs, we're gonna pass by the elevator. Wait a minute, I know you like the elevator, but up here, the chandelier just looks like a whole nother thing. I mean, getting another view of these, you get to see just how big they are. Like, they're massive. All right, let's go. Now up here is yet another entertainment space. Two windows on each side, and right here is the perfect place to hang your big TV. Let's continue on this way and see what's over here on this upper level. Okay, now this is a proper secondary bedroom. I had to pause and almost think, is this the primary? Because this is so spacious, and look at how bright it is to those sliding doors that open up to your balcony. You can kind of people watch and see what's going on in the neighborhood. People watch, I'd be car watching in this neighborhood. You're about to see all the fanciest cars. Now speaking of fancy, check out this ensuite bathroom. It's got the beautiful stone, almost silver, uh, flooring that goes all the way into the shower, up the walls, the backsplash, and they paired it as well with these countertops. Continuing on this upper level, we're gonna head to this side and check out this bedroom. Okay, now this has gotta be the primary, right? No, it isn't. Okay, well this has gotta be the secondary primary room. There's no way this is just a normal secondary bedroom. I mean, look at the views through these floor to ceiling windows of the inner coastal, the backyard pool. I mean, you can literally watch the boats drive by all day long. Look at that. <laughs> so on that side, you get to car watch. On this side, you get to boat watch. So what are you gonna pick? Oh, I'm doing the boat watching all day long. I mean, hey, just imagine, like, waking up in this bed, right? You're laying down, you wake up, have like a Keurig machine, you know, a cup of coffee, and this is a private balcony, right? Look at how big it is. So you have a private balcony, head out there, and just look out and watch all the boats. Ah, uh, that's something else. That is something else. The headboard looks pretty cool too. Oh, that is certainly unique. I love that they went with a textured look instead of just like that flat, you know? Yeah, it almost looks like the Jubilee on the Rolex. <laughs> that does, you got a good eye for that. That for sure does. Now we have more to show you in this room still. Over on this side is where you have this massive ensuite bathroom. It's so clean with all the white, standalone tub, a huge walk-in shower that's covered in glass. Glass. That's something else. Now I get why you thought this was a primary. Right? This is so big. And of course, it's gonna be a big walk in closet too. Leaving this bedroom, let's now head past the insane front foyer and go and check out what's on this side of the upper level. This first bedroom that we're gonna check out is quite similar to the first bedroom on that side that we checked out. It's got the corner windows, the sliding door, the private balcony, and inside is another impressive headboard. Yeah, and that has the diamond cut, sort of like the Bentleys. There we go. They're absolutely going with like the luxury feel for the interior design here. Now let's go check out the rest of this room here. There's a walk-in closet, and next to that is an ensuite bathroom 
that has a beautiful glass shower. And there's also a window up above for letting some natural light in there. Next to this room is another secondary bedroom. It's also quite bright with the floor to ceiling windows and also has an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. Across the hall over here is a good sized laundry room that has lots of shelving. There's also a window allowing for a ton of light to come in there. Now that we're done with this side, let's go and check out this picturesque primary bedroom. This primary suite starts out with its very own wet bar that is perfect for having your morning coffee or some cocktails that you're gonna grab and walk right in to this bedroom. This room has honestly left me speechless and I'm in awe of the views that you're getting through these large sliding glass doors. You also have a large patio too. Oh, that's insane. Now just imagine like waking up in this bed. You thought that one over there was impressive. Imagine waking up in this bed and walking out to that balcony. Now we've had diamond cut headboard. We've had the Jubilee Rolex. Yes. What do we got here? This I think tops it all. There's the fluted wood grain feature wall and in between that you have like that like sleek headboard that they went with. I love that. Just across this way is the first primary ensuite. Now there's two in this room, but this one is sure to impress. I mean, check out the soaker tub right here with all the white flooring and corner windows for all that natural light. I mean, this is a good spot for that. Oh, for sure it is. Across over this way is a floating vanity with a large mirror. Through that mirror, you're gonna see the glass enclosed shower with a massive rainfall shower head. Now behind you, it looks like we're in a high-end department store. Oh, for sure it does. Check out the lighting in here and all this custom cabinetry. I mean, you're gonna be able to put all your favorite jewelry, shoes, your dresses, everything in here. I mean, even check out this center countertop here. There's so much space in here. They did a really good job. They just didn't cheap out and just kind of put the basics. They actually went all out. And don't you love that they switched up the lighting too to make it more warm and really have that designer store feel to it? Across from the ensuite is the lounge space. What's great about this is that when you want some peace and quiet and just have your me time, this is the perfect spot to do it. Whether you're watching TV, a movie, or just sitting here taking in those views. Now something that I noticed when we came in here that was pretty cool is this door. Yeah, do you know why? This is super unique. So this door is actually flush with the wall. So when you open it up, obviously it's your door. But most doors, they're gonna sit open like this or even a little bit like that. But here in this home, the attention to detail is next level, so they made it flush. I hate that in my bedroom, I always like bang into the doorknob. <laughs> exactly, so here you won't have that problem. Now around the corner, we're now gonna go into the second primary ensuite. Now I'm a little like just taken back by this because it is completely opposite as the other ensuite. This one's a lot more darker and I'm getting that more like Hugo Boss vibe where the other one is more like Louis Vuitton, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Behind me over here is yet another floating vanity. This one with the dark gray countertops and the matte black cabinetry. There's even like a lounge space here, which is cool. And check out those windows peering out into the intercoastal. You can also peer out through this shower. <laughs> right? Taking a shower in here and just staring out into those views. That would be a problem for me because I would never want to leave that. This is almost like Batman's like ensuite. Th that's it, that's it, Batman's ensuite. Now, now this is where he's gonna be storing all of his capes. This is a large closet, tons of cabinet space. I mean, this is something else this room. Now that we're done with the inside of the home, it's time to show you why this is one of the most desirable properties on the market. Now this is resort style living out in Florida at its finest. I mean, check out this covered patio area. What's great about that is that it's shaded. So when you're at this dining table or in that lounge space, you can keep at least a little cool out here with the family and friends. You can also get cool drinks at this summer kitchen. Oh, absolutely. And what's great is that it has the TV up here because at a house like this, you're gonna be doing a lot of entertaining. It's good to maybe have a game on in the background. It is, but it's also good to jump into this pool. Oh, I would love to jump in there right now. It is a sun-filled backyard with this lengthy pool right in the middle. 
And what's really cool about this particular pool design is look behind me, they actually extended it all the way to the house. So from inside, looks like the pool like starts from there. Now, obviously the pool is cool, but really what you're gonna get this property for is right behind you. Access to the intercoastal way, like this is where it's at. Like if you own a home like this, you're obviously gonna have a yacht, right? You're gonna park that thing right here, walk on, drive off into the middle of the ocean, and do yacht stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, as much as I don't want to say it, that's the end of this tour. I think that's the end of this one, and I think we got to go find a yacht and go do some yacht stuff, no? Uh, you could just jump in right now and take a swim. All right, see you guys on the next tour. We hope you all enjoyed this tour as much as we did. Now, we want to give a big shout out to David Roberts with Royal Palm Properties for allowing us to come in and film their listing. If you want more information on this house, check the description below. We'll have links for all of that. My name is Tyler, that's Jaden, we're with Propertygrams. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you stay tuned for the latest tours. But enough of that, we'll see you on the next one. Two windows on each side, and right here is the perfect place to hang your big TV. Actually, I'm pretty sure a projector's coming down from there. No. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? No. I mean, yeah? I don't want to lie to the viewers, but I mean, that's literally, yeah. No. Wait, that's where all the heat comes from. Oh, yeah, they got them here. Oh, <laughs> they got projectors everywhere. <laughs> There's projectors everywhere. <laughs>